So I have a running start for this sheet. Uh, we will, it will take more than one moment because we have terrible organization skills. As I wanted to make shorts from cutting off personal arm, but honestly. Uh, uh, I hate how like how inconsequential it was. You know, if someone would fucking tear off my arm, I would be fucking panicking. I would be absolutely fucking in full rage. And I would never cooperate and this guy is actually very supportive of me and I kind of like right now I kind of regret doing that what I did. It's kind of annoying. I mean when I did that I basically disarm a monster. So yeah, you know, it's not like I completely regret this, it's just that the entire game kind of suck. Don't get me wrong, uh, he constantly does not have arms, so it's at least this. Wolf Amogus. Yes. Honestly, I see why people might think it's the best Telltale ever did, because it's probably their best game. It's definitely less fucking insulting to play than Walking Dead, because it's more interesting. It's like more interesting, this is not just how, do you wanna chop off your own arm or not? Oh, don't worry, it will never come out again. You will have same exact struggles regardless if you cut or not. But yeah, that was cringe as fuck. In Shep's clothing. Yeah, I personally have nothing against Bluebeard. I think he's quite okay. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I'm not sure if I say I that. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Green must have taken a shot with him. Maybe it was like forced dialogue that I could not select. Before telling Beast. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yes, yeah, so people have fucking pretension to me that I killed one of these fuckers. I should kill both. This is the same arm? No, this is the second arm. I, I lost two arms right now. I actually, it doesn't fucking matter. I lost so many... I get so many fucking bullets. If anybody will fucking have pretension to me that I killed one of these fuckers, they are absolutely out of their mind. So we will beat, uh, beat the crap out of everybody who dare to say that I'm a killer or something. Yeah, all these bullets are okay. giant fucking detriment to health. So just to be clear, I had no absolute choice or influence about this. This was like... Everything was leading to this event. Little 
Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Uh, save energy. Just focus. Don't, don't fucking do that. I, I select silent option to not move. Will be painful, but will be worth it. Seriously, I need to quick time event this guy. Okay? Don't say anything. I mean, it might be like that. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it would be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, I think we couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I can do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. I don't exactly want it to imply that they don't trust him. Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet so a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep doing. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit. Just one more silver round in your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Okay. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if you can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Yeah, so generally, this is shit. I don't want to drink. So, how do you um, feel? It's Bigley Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out, or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've He's... never seen you like that. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Thanks, I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing's done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man? 
taken over? Snow's the boss. You'll know what's best for the community. Pax, the crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's from the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. Of course I'm pissed, but... It's done, it's done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want? I don't wanna exclude Colin by I saying he was wasn't there. I, I know he doesn't have the best perspective. Of course this will not have effect on the story. Good. My way of doing things is best as it goes. Give me more partners with guns. I wanted to kill Bot, just to be clear. So for that you want to give him a handicap? Like a bad guy's a worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Big Me to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> she will regret that worse because I will be murdering this shit fucks. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And make me knows it's for the best of the town. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. One or two, she pointed Colin and Todd. One of the prostitutes. Narissa. Narissa. That broad from the wooden and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Bafkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Hey, can I take Colin? She'll only tell you. 
I could hire Colin if I have office in different place where I am right now. You always knew well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She can tell me a little of the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. We will not be enforcing glamour if that's uh, on me. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Absolutely no. She seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry. I didn't think about to call him as a friend, but now I understand that he might be. It might be better than Bush. Also, this is a wrong choice, by the way. You should never like choose friendship over the rules if you wanna enforce rules on others. This is extremely bad for you as authority. However, I not don't exactly follow the rules here, as you might fucking notice. If you notice anything. I am not hungry, but I would like to eat food right now. This is, this, I, you probably know the, the feeling, this is probably relatable to someone. But, you know, I'm not hungry, but I'm kind of bored of the, the shit from this game and would like to eat something. Like that, this is like that. So I can eat the fucking... You don't recommend me any garbage. Okay. At least I survived the intro movie that I kind of skip, of course. This games would be so much better with skip button. Fast forward or something. Especially if you wanna try multiple different choices and outcomes, like for example. I didn't know Colin would be good friend. I didn't need. I was so fucking, you know. I um. Are you okay? You did have a good last mm. night. I wasn't sure you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> if I came by. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wanted to say you should see the other guys, not this. Please, don't. Not many people smoke those. You should not fucking smoke at all. We should... I, mean, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room with the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. The giant problem is that we it's let the screen uh, leave instead of the copy taking his head. Okay, so, so far I regret the, the copy taking I, one more arm. I used to have friends. And the kind of regret. Uh, now, I don't know if I could say something better to Toad and Colin. To and I also kind of regret not not saving this prince guy. Is this making any sense? 
Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith 412. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? I didn't choose that That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can you remove this? Why not? You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. She will remember that I tried to remove it. I don't okay. know what happened when you do. I get it. So the ribbons. If you take them off. Potentially gonna burn again. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, wait, you don't have to go. That was... uh, Brocked? One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about. It's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off. Or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. I can I take care of me? I'm not exactly in good state to go on my own. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Pickby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? <laughs> I have other matters to attend to. Seriously? 
Are you stupid or what? Okay, we both know where it's going. I will fucking die. But you know what? I will die doing what is the most important for safety of the people. Murdering worthless fucks. Don't knock. Okay, good. We have time to steal their stuff. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, you let's not make a problem. What are you doing here? You really need to bring safety into the Quickly. Okay, keep in mind we don't have the strength. I know you're gonna take the break. Look inside the urn, you fucking moron. Don't fucking poke it. They are fucking like messing with each other. Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, the place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Judy. What? It's a fair question. He's the sheriff, not an interior decorator. I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the crooked man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. Can you- I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We're not! And just tell me what's going on. I don't know if I can protect them, by the way. But if I can't, they will die. And that way... I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work... Yeah, I know, I try to do that with Snow. She deserves to be my personal bedroom fucking mate. Humanly possible. 
Ah, shit scripted by garbage trash. All I care about is how can I find the crooked? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? They will die. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. It's so good we killed one of the swordless ships. Now we, we just fucking need to murder second one, and the street will be almost clear. Then we need to murder the rest of these fucking worthless sheep hacks. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Had to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Yes, I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track that we need healing man, magic. Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby, don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And you know that butcher shop, the Connemouth. It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked men. And I don't think it's me in the packages. You gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called me. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she wants. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, and I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's doing. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. She will so fucking die. As for you, 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 you can die already, it doesn't matter, it's more, most important that the bad guys will be fucking killed. Bad guy can shoot three victims. So trade one for one is fucking fail. I wanna murder Bloody Mary, this is like most important. I'm slightly afraid of this butcher shop stuff. I wanna know what the crooked man is hiding in that butcher shop. You know, baby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. Oh. 
What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I can't let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. They want me to murder him. I know this. But I don't care. So anybody with the fucking guns or uh, attempts to murder will fucking die horribly. Stop smoking. You should stop long ago. No, 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 don't, don't ring, don't ring. Just enter. Of course another decision without consequence. Ah, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Black steak, on special. New York strip. Dude, this Black meat is well stale. Invite myself in. Let's go. Oh, no, no, don't worry. Oh, I will definitely make nice slice of meat from you if you keep continuing this. Let's go. Worthless piece of shit trying to screw me. Um, destroy it, destroy it. Can I move? Don't talk, don't... Don't talk. Preferably don't let him know you are here. Can I just kill him? Slam him. Destroy him. He don't deserve to leave. This fucking criminals need to be stopped. You are still alive, why? I select let him talk, not let him fucking go behind me. Yes, 
sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. And, and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Seriously? I wonder what will happen if I refuse to do quick time event. Does it go down? I mean, it's not like I have any choice. I mean, it's not like this game have any choices. But why? Is this so engaging game? This is basically Telltale games doing shit. This is how they work. Are you engaged right now, gamer? Do you see this? Honestly, it's nice back there. It's not a bad place. Mm? Uh, mo destroy everything. Everything on the floor right now. This is fucking setup for making drugs or whatever. I know it's evidence, but now we also can destroy it because I don't know what's going on. Stock. Black forest soil, nosebleed. Oh! What is this place? I told you, baby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Morning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you won't be giving a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? Did you call at all? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this in my back? All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I was hoping I could make him sit down and interrogate him. Yeah, this later. Can so I destroy everything? Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. Well, I have a better idea. Destroy everything. Don't just look. Destroy. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Why you cannot destroy it? Oh, of course, game would have to accommodate to this. That you demolish this place and this is garbage game. Trash game for morons. This is what Telltale games are all about. Garbage shit storytelling, like worse version of comics. <sighs> this is all, all they have to fucking offer. That's simple. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves. So what's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Uh... This is inventory section or something. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you 
You see what's going on here? All these fables, magic from him. This is booming. He's got all he needs. A year. Slave labor to work in. So these must be the raw materials. Wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? What? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... He's enslaving fables. My watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah. Stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pond. They probably put Crane there, too. The Lucky Pond. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on! I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad boy. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? You should have just stayed home. Sometimes there's only one way to do this job. Creative destruction. I heard that on TV. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. You won't have to worry, Elmer. I'm gonna take her down. <laughs> yeah, honestly, there is huge probability that I will murder whoever game let me murder. Restrain Jersey. Seriously?
Okay. Boss fight. Hmm? Very cool. I don't have much choice, so let's fight. I see Axe! Axe! This is so strong! I cannot take damage because I will be dropped down in a second! Good! Take this, worthless fuck! Also head! Chop his head off! Woodsman, Woodsman, could you, would you kindly take your stupid axe? Okay, get rid of your head right now. <laughs> Good. No, no, not over yet. Not over until he's dead. Kill. Still alive. Yes. <laughs> yes. Magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? I cannot throw anything, this is still cutscene. I always take money. What a stupid fucking place. Imagine not taking money from the coast. Take it. Take it, we need it as evidence. <laughs> Don't worry. Share smoke. He is good friend right now.
We don't have money of this left. Uh, we in, with my current condition, we need anybody who is willing to fucking chop down uh, bad guys. I kind of don't understand these people, like, they have pretension to me when I murder worthless piece of shit. He said no. Okay, let's go. I know I should not sympathize with the subjects, but we need we need any help we can get. In my current condition, like these fights might basically get me KO in one fucking hit. Oh, oh, right. I, I was killing. I, I did the dings. I did the capitations. Hey, 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 hey. Instantly show the shark. Don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Let me choose options. Shut the fuck up, please. Good. 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 This... Is my business. 
I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about democracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? This is a war now. I will fucking solve things. Okay, yeah. so... Thanks. Go talk to Tom. I know we Just didn't so harm know, the improper the improperly, we should fucking murder this pawn shop he owner. Really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Because he basically controls entire fucking black market operations. If we would kill him, so, they would have to find another pawn in the same places. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. <laughs> exactly. Crane was stealing from entire town. I believe this doesn't have any effect, but maybe he's happy now. No. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he pounds, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or Maybe they're just trying to leave. Sheriff, sure, Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired! Oh. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. I wanna see Bloody Mary. He's probably still... You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way, so please. Yeah, I wonder why this they let him leave. Wait a minute. Someone is watching. She can't tell that. The door, but 
It's like the Crooked Man symbol on it. Or long. Take the man. Make sure you bring him back alive. No. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this. I will bring him back alive. Bring him back here, alive. We can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare. I wanna show him to everyone in the town and then smash his head over the floor in front of everybody. I got no other choice. And now I don't care about the capitation, I wanna fucking completely flatline his stupid school on this fucking floor. And when there is we will be nothing to fucking uh, like collect from this shit. You think the same thing? Oh, by the way, how fast? Uh, kick! Kick the door! Kick the door! Wait. Okay, kick the door. Move! Okay, let's go, go! Go, go to the portal! Immediately! Immediately go! Seriously? Like Harry Potter? Why? How did my character actually go that? Okay. Murder. Murder and sneaking. Tim! What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. For leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. You know, I kinda thought the Crooked Man would have bigger guards. From ogres. I'm almost insulted he doesn't. Maybe he just wants to talk. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. I don't know this team guy. I don't care. We'll murder. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to miss out. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not. He's not as bad as you think. Oh yeah, man, oh like man. <laughs> Gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? What? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you. But we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey Sheriff, hold up! I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tell me who the fuck is back there. I I don't exactly know. I just find the door. Boss is there. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Yes. Of course. Uh... 
I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no idea so right. he would... I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. See, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. And this is over, I doubt it. Uh, why I have black skin of that? See, oh, you, see, in this shit game you cannot even fucking post black skin. Of course you can. Oh, of course. Maybe I could murder her. That would be helpful. Yeah, I took post the option. Yes, good. Uh, I wanna go to Mano. Okay, I think this is the end of chapter and we going for final right now, so we will be murdering these bitches, right? Or... Uh, I don't know how much more of this is it's here left yet. I think there is five episodes? <laughs> Thank you for watching. As you see, I'm very content.